Hey Leo, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. Let's just go ahead and get right into it. What messages do you have for Leo when it comes to love and romance? Leo, when it comes to love and romance. Ooh, unrequited. One side love, not enough attraction, feelings are not mutual. I think Leo, I don't feel like this is how somebody feels about you. I feel like this is how you feel about somebody else. I feel like there was somebody here, Leo, that you were interested in at one time, but because you were the one that's been doing everything, because you're the one that um, I feel like kind of probably took the brunt of the relationship. You're the one that was doing the work. I think that there's something here where things have changed and things have flipped with how you feel about this person. Because it's just not enough. I also feel like with this person, you know, they may have been stringing you along where there was this sense of hope that they were wanting to work on things. But I think that what you what you found out pretty quickly is that this person is very selfish and it's very selfish the way that they go about things. Um, and and I do get that there was some type of third party situation. And I feel like for you, you're like, I just don't like you enough for me to be sitting up here looking stupid. That's what I feel like, because there was something that came in and interfered in your guys' situation or in your relationship. I definitely get that, you know, you both were opposites. And I feel like with this person randomly, I feel like they took a lot of pride in having you by their side, but also a sense of control. I don't know why, Leo, but I feel like whoever this person is, whoever you've been dealing with, it's almost like they liked you as arm candy. They like to be able to brag about you, to say that they were with you, to show you around. But then I feel like when it came to this person doing what they needed to do, it's like they didn't. They strung you along. I feel like you and them essentially were working almost against each other, even though you thought you were working towards something. It's like this person would always do the opposite. And I get that this person was really jealous of you. And it wasn't even just jealousy from your person though, Leo. I also get that there was jealousy from this third party. For some of you guys, you may have agreed to have some type of threesome and it just ended up completely turning you off because I do think that that is for somebody in particular who is watching this because I do get that you and your person, there's a lot of jealousy around you. I do get that they're scared of losing you now, but I feel like it's because there's something about this person that just really turned you off. And I think that you're sitting here and you're taking a step back and you're like, I lowered myself to entertain you and you're going to treat me like this? Oh no, we, we're, we're not, not today, Satan. Oh no, no, no. Because I think that's the funny thing, like with Leos, like I feel like people take Leos for granted because Leos are funny, they're cool, they're light, they're chill. You know what I mean? They're very attractive. People, I feel like second guess your intelligence because of how you look. I feel like a lot of times with attractive people, Leo, I feel like people tend to think you're dumb and you're like, yo, I'm mad intelligent, but I don't even have to entertain that. And I feel like with this person, they thought that they could outsmart you. This is somebody who would love bomb you, right? This is somebody who after you pull away, all of a sudden, it's like they wanna come forward and they wanna be all emotional, right? They wanna talk about soulmates. They wanna talk about this strong connection with you. You know, they want your attention. The moment you say enough is enough, all of a sudden, it's like this person comes rushing in, right? They don't wanna lose you. They don't want things to be weird. But at the same point in time, part of you is sitting here like, you're just telling me what I wanna hear because you want me to do what you wanna do. And I get that there's a lot of stalking going on where this person is very curious about you. And I definitely feel like whoever you're dealing with, they're not completely over you, like not even in the slightest. But what I am getting to though, Leo, is that there's more than one person stalking you. Whoever this third party is, they're stalking you your person is stalking you. And I feel like you have other people that are watching you too, especially on social media with fake pages, um, you know, different re friend requests. It's like, they'll request you if you deny it, then they create another profile or they, it, it, it's something weird with this person where it's like, they're very, they're, there's a level of obsessive energy around you right now, Leo. 
And I feel like there's a lot of people that are comparing themselves to you. And I feel like, honestly, it's because you've switched up. I think you've changed. Yeah, your partner. Yeah, maybe they've changed. But I think that you've changed. And I feel like you're in a place right now, Leo, where you're not budging, right? It's like, I said what I said. I'm not doing this. And I feel like there's something about you, Leo, where you have this beautiful energy right now that's very light and it's very bright. And I think that you're starting to see things from a completely different perspective of who you are and what you want in life. And this is something that is changing everything forever. I also get to Leo, you may have recently met somebody, which is also why you're taking this look at this person who's played games, who, you know, tells you what you want to hear, you know, who's extremely jealous of you and of your accomplishments and every, of everything else. I feel like you have a new person here, which is why you're starting to sit here. Because I do get, Leo, I get that you're frustrated. I get you're kind of angry. I think you're angry and irritated at the fact that you that this person thought that they could play you. That this person could, you know, not give you the time of day. That they kept pushing you off. They didn't want a relationship. All this shit. And then all of a sudden, it's like this person wants to come back and they want to reconcile. And I think you're frustrated. You're like, why did you do what you did from the very beginning? Why could you not be straight up from the very start? And I feel like this person coming forward, Leo, it's almost like bad timing for when they're coming forward to try to reconciliate. Because I feel like now time is on your side. See, I think that you wanted this person to do things in a timely manner and they didn't, right? I, I think that you're dealing with somebody who is a habitual line stepper and this person has pushed you and pushed you and pushed you. And I feel like you guys are sitting there like, I'm not budging. You're the opposite now of what this person originally had. And I definitely get Leo, you're looking better than ever. You're focused on yourself. You're focused on your body. And definitely your ex is being punished right now because all they can do is sit here and stalk. All they can do is sit here and secretly be jealous because you're not giving them any attention. And you know, I also think too, Leo, like I said earlier, I feel like you have a lot of options right now. And I think that you're open to exploring other possibilities, right? Because for you, if this person is not going to give you what you want, you're not going to sit here and be strung along in a situation where this person isn't budging. You're just not going to do it. And you're not going to sit here and waste your time because the reality is time is money and, and, and life is short. So going out and having a good time and interacting with people versus being stuck in a situation where you're angry, I, I feel like for you guys, 100%, hands down, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. And I feel like there's a moment, Leo, and I'm laughing and I shouldn't be, where I feel like you've looked in the mirror, because I feel like Leos do this. Like you guys looked in the mirror and you're like, yo, I'm a bad bitch. Like, what am I doing with this person? It's almost like your rose colored glasses came off, Leo. And you're looking at your person or you're looking at your partner like the raw motherfucking nerve of this person to string me along of all people, right? The raw nerve of this person to have me in some type of third party situation? Oh, hell no. Like, I think that there's something here, Leo, where you're waking up out of, um, you know, this illusion of who this person is. Yeah cursed for some of you guys you know this is a situation where you may feel like it's been doomed from start right there also may be this third party that has put, done some type of spell work to curse you also for some of you guys but also too cursed is like you you may be worried that you've had a string of bad relationships of bad friendships of bad relationships and there is some type of karmic cycle here and I think that the karmic cycle is you acknowledging who is meant for you and who isn't. When you guys are in the right company, you know it. This is somebody I feel like whoever you're dealing with, they didn't recognize your value until I feel like you walk away. Damn, Leo, look, that just popped out. They did not recognize your value until you walked away, right? This is somebody who took your kindness for weakness 
This is somebody who didn't acknowledge the fact that, you know, you're this beautiful, amazing person and you're giving to them because you love them, not because you have to, right? Not because you're ugly. There's gonna be somebody in the comments that's hell of offended by that. And I'm not trying to be funny, but more than likely that's somebody that's insecure about being ugly. Just wanna throw that out there. Somebody's gonna be like, that's not very spiritual. Well, guess what? YOLO, it's Friday. But yeah, I feel like, like how dare them treat you like an ugly redheaded stepchild? Like the raw nerve, you're not gonna value me? Oh no, oh no. You're over there like, don't you know I'm the life of the party? Don't you know if I'm on your side? We are a power couple. People envy you just being with me. Like, I don't think that this person truly understood your level of significance. And I do get that this is a situation that's been relatively painful, right? The one thing I can say is um, when it comes to roses, right? If you have a rose with no thorns, that means that this is a situation that will... Um, that's gonna have a smooth sailing, right? But it also represents love and sensuality and everything else. But do you see how he has the thorns on his hands? With this person, this person has love that is pure. But the problem is, is this person on the outside, they're not being honest. It, it's, it's this person who is not being truthful. And it's like, no matter what you do, if this person is not gonna remove these thorns, you're gonna keep getting stuck by them. And I feel like with this person, whoever this person is, they're really closed off. I think that they're closed off emotionally. I think that they avoid intimacy. I feel like they are somebody that would prefer to um, hide their feelings and be deceptive versus be having a level of vulnerability, right? And I do get, wow, that just jumped out. For some of you guys, I definitely feel like this may be a karmic connection. I, I am going to say that. For, for some of you, it is a karmic connection for sure. Um, and I'm saying that only because you have the karmic connections card here. Full of turbulence, right? But I feel like this is your person. I feel like your person is full of turbulence. I feel like there's a lot of things that they've not resolved about their past, about their childhood. Like for instance, this can be somebody I feel like that has a lot of problems when it comes to their mom. Either their mom is too overbearing or um, they've never seen their mom have a sustainable relationship or they grew up without a mom. Like th there's somebody here that has a problem. And again, you see the thorns, see? See how there's thorns in each? That's significant. And I think that's something that is important, Leo, to acknowledge, especially when it comes to this situation, is you being able to take a step back and have a higher perspective when it comes to this situation, it's different, right? Because I think that you're not really, because a lot of times when we get angry, right, we're angry because we think that this person is doing it to us. Like it hurts, like why would you do that to me? But I think something you're starting to realize about this person is your person's just a miserable, unhappy person. And I do think for a period of time, Leo, whoever you were dealing with, I think that that rubbed off on you until you woke up and took off your glasses and was like, not today, Satan, I'm not doing this. And what's crazy is, I feel like by you acknowledging the toxicity, it's allowing this new love to come in because I think that you are letting go of the past. I think that there's somebody new here, Leo, that's caught your attention, that's made you some type of beautiful love offer. And I feel like you and this person um, are mirroring one another. You guys want the same thing. Whoever this newer energy is, this person doesn't have a hard time expressing themselves right? The star, renewed hope, bright future, doing the healing work. Whoever this newer energy is, they recognize off the top who you are. And I feel like this person is not dumb, whoever this person is, because I feel like you're very hypnotic to them, right? There's something about you that's very hypnotizing. It's the eyes, it's the hair, it's just something about you, right? They feel like you're hard to resist. They feel like everybody wants you that you have people's undivided attention at all times. And I think that with this person, 
they've probably watched you for a period of time, but they want to date you, right? They're taking this seriously. And I feel like for you, getting back out there and dating and meeting different people, I think that what you're really going to realize, Leo, is that you are in the driver's seat. And there is something here about this love activation that by kicking this person who's treated you like shit to the curb, what's happening is their closed heart, right? Their block, their heart chakra blockage, that's done. It's changing, right? There is a sense of activation here where it's waking them up and it's because you left them out in the cold. You said, I'm not doing this, right? I'm not doing this. I'm going to go date. I'm going to go do me. You know, I've been working on myself and I'm not doing this karmic shit with you. I'm not doing the third party. I'm not doing this push and pull, this hot and cold, this oil and water type of shit. I'm not. I, I said what I said. I want what I want. And I feel like with this person, they're now paralyzed because they can't move on. Right? You're no longer accepting their fuck shit. Because you're no longer accepting your fuck shit, it's like this person is now stuck. You're dealing with somebody who's mad delusional, right? You're dealing with somebody who tends to lie to themselves, which is why they stay stuck in these certain positions in these certain areas. But the one thing I can tell you is that this person, this older person, the person of your past, there, there's something going on here. Because they're at a breaking point right now because they're very fixated and freaking the fuck out about you. They cannot get you out of their mind, right? It's like, I think that this person is sitting back and they're realizing how fake every other attachment that they've had thus far is. I think that they're sitting here thinking about, you know, they would they gave more into a superficial pretend relationship than into a situation where you gave them everything. And I feel like, Leo, you are in a place where you're finding happiness at the end of the day. And this person is realizing that you were their happiness. And I feel like you having this sense of freedom right now, you saying, you know what? I'm not ready to be in a relationship. I want to go date around. You know what I mean? I'm independent. I'm going to do me. What this is doing is it's giving this person a sense of clarity and they're having this breakthrough where they're having to acknowledge their secrets. They're having to acknowledge all this stupid shit that they've done. Part of the reason is because they're very attracted to you, right? That masculine energy, typically men are not like, she's so intelligent, so you know, I had to have her. No, they're like, damn, did you see her? Did you see her eyes? Did you see that ass, right? Like men are naturally attracted to people with their eyes. Of course, after, right, that initial attraction, then I think they come on to something else. But I feel like this person is intimidated by your beauty. I don't think that they like other people looking at you. I think that there's a lot of physical attraction. And I think that when you walk in a room, you, you stand out. Everybody turns and looks at you. And I feel like with this person, they're angry. And now they're in a place where they have to fight, right? They have to fight through all of their broken promises to you, right? All the times that they weren't honest. They have to fight through being trapped, feeling stuck. They have to do something here because I do feel like with this person, they know that they're against time and time is not of the essence and time is not on their side. Let's see things from their perspective. And if you haven't already, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. All right. How does, yeah, eight of cups. Your, your person right now is viewing the relationship like the Eight of Cups. They feel like they're not good enough. They feel like, you know, um, they've been living in this fantasy world. And I think that with this person, they always thought you would come back. They never thought you would really leave them because I think you've been so consistent, right? Leos, tend, Leos are a fixed sign. So fixed signs tend to be very consistent, right, Leo? So I feel like because you're very diligent, you're very consistent, you typically don't break a routine until a routine's gone its entire course. And I feel like with this person, they're shocked at the fact that you said, enough is enough, I'm done. How does this person view themselves in the role romantically with, with, with Leo? They want to they wanna reconcile. They want a second chance. How do they view their role? Oh, shit. It's the twin flame card. Wow. I'm going to have to pick that up before I start. But they view themselves as the twin flame card. So 
with that being said, this person is having this activation. Remember, we saw that earlier. They're having this heart activation, which is opening and awaking them to this twin flame experience. So I definitely feel like with this person, they're going under this major transformation. I just don't know if it's too late. How do they view Leo in the situation with them romantically? How do they view Leo? Eight of Wands, you're like, I'm out here. What's poppin'? New whip just hopped in. What's up, right? They feel like you're out here. You're on social media. You're moving fast. You have a lot of people coming at you. You're not taking them seriously. How does this person, what does this person view? Whoa, too many. Too fucking many. All right, but I'll take it. What do they feel is their block? It's the five of pentacles. I think it's because you're not talking to them. I feel like you and this person are not communicating. I feel like you're keeping your distance from this person. I think that, you know, um, you're telling them, you know, I need some time to think about what I want. I need some time to roam. I don't, I, I, I don't, I, I just need some time. And I think that that's what's freaking this person out because it's almost like they're worried that they took too long to communicate how they really felt about you. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. What is this person? Um, what is this person thinking about heavily when it comes to Leo? The four of wands being intimate with you. For some of them, they're thinking about marriage. Like I wouldn't be surprised if this person was ready to propose to you, to be honest, because I think that you blocking their love offer, it's making them want to come back even harder. What is this person's next actions towards Leo romantically? The two of cups. Leo, this person is not done. This is one of those people, Leo, that when you push them away, it, it makes them want you more for some reason. I don't, I don't know why, but it's one of those. Um, what is this person's intentions with Leo romantically? What is this person's intentions with Leo romantically? The magician. Okay, I am going to say this though. The magician can go either way, right? The magician, you could be used for good or the magician can be used for bad. So just kind of keep that in mind. So I'm curious in the extended, what exactly is going to come out with what this person really does want from you? And what can Leo expect over these next couple of weeks with this person? Wheel of Fortune. I don't know, Leo. I think that there's something major that's coming here because it is the Wheel of Fortune and the Tower. So this is a, a, an event that changes everything. Whatever they're doing here, it's a turn of events. It's major change. It's some type of unforeseen event. And I also feel like with this person, there's something here where it's like they're going to do or say something that completely levels the field. And I feel like you and them either have a brand new start with the Ace of Pentacles. Like I wouldn't be surprised if this person asked to marry you. There's something here about wanting to work on things, no longer wanting to be in the dark. Look, they want to work on things with you. Now, the one thing I was going to say, and then I'm going to leave it here, with these cards, it's a lot of water and fire, right? There's not a lot of stability, so that concerns me, right? Except when I started to look deeper into the deck, that's when we started to see the pentacles. So this person's surface level, you don't think they want anything serious, but that's not the case. I just feel like with this person, they're not confident in themselves, especially when it comes to you. So that's why their energy comes off as very sexual or very emotionally detached. When in reality, they want that stability. They want to work on that with you. So Leo, this is your reading. I definitely get that your person is deep in this Ten of Swords and the Hermit. They're taking time to really sit here and try to see things from a different perspective. And I do get that this person is thinking about you a lot and they're in deep thought trying to figure out how do they make you happy and how do they make things work. So if you want to know more about this, where we're going to go over card by card in the extended plus uh, Oracle messages, please feel free to click on the link in the comment section below. And I love you and I'll talk to you later. Peace.